Right, today we're going to talk about an often misunderstood part of applied kinesiology, namely nutritional testing. Now a professional applied kinesiologist, which you can find by going to the ICAK.com, International College of Applied Kinesiology, for your professional applied kinesiologist, we're trained how to test the nutrition or challenge for it in the most neurologically sound way, and that is having the patient taste it. Sometimes people do things with bottles and hands and other things. That's not applied kinesiology. And if you cannot find your applied kinesiologist in the ICAK directory, they might not exactly be professionally trained, certified, or what's called a professional applied kinesiologist. So I'm going to demonstrate today is a very simple way, though, to do without muscle testing, per se, but by using another function of the muscle, which is flexibility. When you put something optimal and the body tastes it, once you taste something, it is in your nervous system. And in my notes session one of the 100-hour certification course, I go through the neurological pathway of how that goes from your tongue to the hypothalamus and then to the thalamus for the body for pain and muscle testing and how you can taste it. That's all in the notes. We're not going to cover that here. I just want to give you a very useful demonstration that actually uh, anyone can do this one. So essentially, if you put something on the tongue and it's not optimal for you, I'm not saying you're definitely allergic to it, but maybe not optimal. If you go to bend over and touch your toes or have a professional applied kinesiologist check your range of motion, it'll be diminished. You'll actually get tighter tasting something not good for you. Now, most people are aware of this if you're allergic to something horribly or even have what's called an anaphylactic reaction, like a lot of people are allergic to shellfish. And if they take a bite, their laryngeal muscles, their throat muscles start tightening up. I mean, God forbid they could die in 10 minutes. Uh, that's a severe muscle test, but you see in 10 minutes it happens. We're not talking about two hours for the digestive tract. Well, if that is possible, if you could taste something and, as I say, God forbid, die from it in 10 minutes, whether it's shellfish or some people it's strawberries, what have you, or peanuts, we're very aware of, well then, I propose to you that if you taste something good for you, the opposite should happen. Instead of muscles tightening up, your body should open up. You should actually become more flexible, feel better, feel clearer. And I'm demonstrating to you if one is possible, where you can actually die in 10 minutes or feel terrible, tighten up, the other is possible. You can actually loosen up, enjoy better health by eating good food or drinking good water. So what I'm saying is once you taste something, it's in your nervous system. And applied kinesiologists can measure it via muscle testing or through range of motion, which I'm going to show you. So for a simple demonstration, I'm going to take two of my favorite multiple vitamins, which I think are really, really good. There's Catalin from Standard Process, the oldest vitamin company in this country. Catalin was actually made in 1929. And I think there's like 13 foods in there or so. And every vitamin, mineral, compound that's been discovered since 1929 is shown to be in here. So this is a wonderful one. And more of a vegetarian option, if you will, is from Alpha Organics. Their daily multiple, which has many organic ingredients in it, is also fabulous. So I'm going to show you right now a very simple tool that you can do for your patients to see which vitamin they need, or even if they bring one that they're taking, I'm not going to name, mention any brand names. If they bring it in and they wonder why their urine is bright yellow and they're not feeling good, you can actually pull on their tongue and watch their range of motion tighten. But today we're going to use one of these and demonstrate how, if it's good for the patient, they actually enjoy greater range of motion. And if they're enjoying greater range of motion, they're going to enjoy other greater bodily functions too. So let's demonstrate. Now that we've described what is called in applied kinesiology, nutritional challenging, let's show it. So you can do muscle testing if there's a problem, or the simplest way to check for things is range of motion. The hamstring's a nice easy one to check. Come up gently, see how far you can go, and do it several times, in case they're saying they're a little stiff and it would have gone up anyway. It might or it might not. Uh, so we have an idea, it's pretty good, about 90 degrees. So whatever it is you want to check for the patient, if it's good for them, it could even be a food, but we want to do a nice multivitamin. So now we'll grab the Alpha Organics Multiple. Go to grab the standard process Catalan and just pick one. You open it up. Okay, open. Have it go on the tongue. Close. Taste it for about 10 seconds. And listen, once you taste something, it's in your nervous system. So I don't know the response with this one. If it's the one that's very good for her, there'll be an increase. If it's not, there won't be, and we'll try the Catalan. And if it's something not good for the patient, they'll actually tighten up. So let's see. Okay. Obviously, her body likes it. So in this case, the alpha organics multiple is very, very good for her. 
And in the office, I would then check the catalin. All right, so she had a big improvement with the alpha organics. Now we wash the taste out of the mouth and back to where it was because it's not in the system yet. That takes several weeks. Now we'll try the standard process catalin. You want to place this on your tongue, please? Again, you have the patient taste it. You can suck on it or you can chew it. A lot of times the tablets will have bite it once or twice. The powder, no need to. All right, let's see if her body likes this one. Okay, she likes them both. So they're both great, and they're both great products. Sometimes one will show better with the patient, sometimes it won't, but at least in this case, to go to the patient, you know what? They're both great for you. And you could just decide on uh, which one the patient should use. But again, a simple, profound demonstration to show the patient that this is why you're the doctor. You're able to find for them something that is very, very good for them. And doctors, you'll see fantastic patient compliance when you show them what you're recommending for them. If it improves range of motion, it improves function everywhere. That's called the somatovisceral reflex. If it improves the soma, the muscles, it improves the viscera, the organs, the body, the brain, everything. So get your patients on the best multiple vitamins. At least start with that. And that's how you can help them to enjoy a higher level of health and actualize their potential. And you can do the same with your practice. So stay healthy and be positive.